Last month, Google announced OnHub, a wireless router that claims to be built for all the ways you use Wi-Fi. Today, the tinkerers over at iFixit have done a teardown of the $200 device and found that it has some surprising innards. Ron Amadio from Ars Technica recently reviewed the OnHub, and he's here to tell us what to make of what's inside. Welcome, Ron. Hey, Megan. How are you? I am good. So they found lots of antennas, a huge heat sink, and they learned that it was mostly held together with clips. I'm assuming you don't mean binder clips, some kind of clips. Were there any surprises? Um, not a ton of su surprises. I mean, we, we kind of knew uh, what was in the device uh, to start with. Google had kind of been talking about it. But um, I, I guess the biggest thing is how big the speaker is. Like there's a, uh, there's a giant three watt speaker on the top of this, which is uh, kind of interesting. So when you, when you first set the device up, it, it does audio pairing with your cell phone. Uh, so it plays a little tone. It kind of sounds like a ringtone. And uh, I guess we were expecting something about the size of a, a smartphone speaker, but this is a, uh, this is a lot bigger, a lot louder. So uh, it's kind of interesting to see just what exactly is inside this thing. So does the speaker, how does the speaker compare to like the speaker in an, an Amazon Echo? Oh, well, the Echo like is a Bluetooth speaker. So it has a uh, separate tweeter and woofer and it, it basically is, uh, most of that canister is, is speakers where this most of the canister is like circuit boards and uh, a million little chips that don't work yet. And uh, a, just a, a whole bunch of, of accessories that need a software update to do anything. So there's also an ambient light sensor, you said. What's that for? We don't know. It doesn't work. Uh, the, that's the, So there's an ambient light sensor. That doesn't work. There's a USB port. That doesn't work. Um, and the, the big hidden thing in there is a, uh, a Zigbee um, antenna for, like, smart home uh, devices. It's, it's an antenna and a, a chipset. I think it's 802.15.4 or, or some, something like that. The number's in here somewhere. Um, but, uh, yeah, so eventually they'll, they'll update that and it will run, uh, not Zigbee, but Thread, which is Google's, uh, smart home protocol that they've built with Nest that, uh, I guess when they finally launch like a smart home platform, all of this stuff will run, uh, the Thread protocol. So is that the same thing as the Project Brillo? Is that what they're calling it? Brillo? Uh, Brillo is an operating system. So, so Thread is kind of a replacement for Wi-Fi. Um, Wi-Fi is... Uh, super like battery hungry and really fast. And for smart home devices, you want something that, that kind of sips battery and uh, is a lot slower because you're only ever sending messages like unlock the door or turn on a light bulb or something like that. Um, so Thread replaces Wi-Fi. Uh, Brillo is the operating system uh, that's going to be based on Android that that these uh, little smart home objects will run. So like uh, your your door lock will run Brillo or your light bulb or or something like that, and it'll run on these these cheap embedded processors. 